gosh, it just keeps pulling. Welcome back to Flywheel Films. This is a very quick vlog. Literally one take. This is a car. This is a flying Miata turbo car. That's Mike from Fly Miata. We got Chick fil A there. I'm currently driving an electric truck, pulling electric cars. Kyle's got an electric truck over there, pulling an electric car. We're going to go see the Rivian and Cybertruck. But on the way there, I'm going to drive this turbo beast. Oh, mama. I'll give you the camera. <laughs> We'll just see how this goes. It already feels faster. <laughs> We're in a parking lot. I'd, I'd hit the, the roundabout and go straight out here and then okay. we can cut right. So how's everything going, Mike, with all this development and things? You know, at the <laughs> moment, we're kind of getting into the phase of finalizing what parts we're using, what manufacturers are doing, yep. you know, any final tweaks, that kind of stuff. Um, for the most part, we're in the phase of actually getting manufacturing lined up with the different stuff that we need to put together these kits. Nice. This is a special treat because I wasn't planning on this. I was figuring I'd just jump into Grand Junction and jot along, but uh, oh boy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, and it sounds good too. That's fun. <laughs> So, my car now feels very slow. <laughs> Do you know what the power numbers this is making? At the moment, this car hasn't been on the dyno in its current form. Okay. But best guess is about mid twos. Mid twos. That's literally all it needs, honestly. Not everyone realized, like a lot of people chase crazy horsepower numbers, um, with, even with new cars, but even when you're modifying Miatas, especially NCs could take a lot of power, honestly. The, the stock transmission is pretty bulletproof. That's actually why the Fiat 124, even the Abarth uses an NC transmission, because it's pretty pretty juicy. Uh, it, could, it, could, it could take a lot, but the, uh, yeah, a lot of people chase crazy numbers, but mid 200s, I mean, that's what the, new Supra is making. The four-cylinder, anyways. But that's what this is, four-cylinder turbo. How much more does that weigh? It weighs 500 pounds more than this. Hey. At least 400 pounds more. So this is really all you need. Oh, this, wait. We got good. Doggo. Oh, Doggo. <laughs> Look at this guy, what a legend. Wow, nice. And you've been driving this for how long? Because it was in Detroit for a while. And you were actually like, do I even have a car still? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was in Detroit for about seven months. Um, we were working with Calibrated Success. They do lots of factory level emissions testing and power testing in our case. Nice. Um, although we did, of course, use that because we want this to be carb legal. Yeah. But yeah, he had it for seven months. Um, it's all over here. Yeah, so we can actually turn right here or the next one, either or. Oh my gosh. This is exhilarating. This is nice. So, this is a cool little twisty right here, actually. Oh. So I can feel it. Hold on to your Chick fil A. <laughs> oh my gosh, it just keeps pulling. Like when my car is just getting into a little bit of power, yours is like bored, it's already there. It's already, absolutely, it's already way past that power. <laughs> this turbo is very sprightly in this configuration. And what's like behind the cap, I guess, exhaust wise? Stock. Stock. Totally stock. Wow. Yeah, it's stock cat for what it's worth. Really? I'm just experiencing as much of this car as possible. The Cybertruck should be arriving about the time we get there. This is the mall with all the superchargers, right? Correct. Okay. This is Grand Junction. There's only one mall. <laughs> Good, you're right. <laughs> and then left here. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. How, how do you feel about the car? You Wait, when did you get back from Detroit? Like, how long have you been driving in its current state? I've had it for about two months now. Okay. And honestly, you're not it's, bored of it yet. You know... <laughs> Should I go straight or...? Uh, turn right here, sorry. No, not bored. Um, <laughs> although now I've had two months to acclimate, so it does feel like... Keep going. It does feel like maybe I could have some more. I don't know. Um, I've had... Go ahead and turn left here. I've had a few other cars that were about this part, power level. Um, my other daily driver is a V8 with nearly 400 horsepower, so... Wow, nice. And then turn left. 
So this is definitely power to weight is much more exciting yeah. than the V8 car because that's a full size sedan. Yeah. But this car, um, sprightly is a great word for it. This, yeah, and this chassis handles the power so well. It doesn't even feel like this is an aftermarket kind of deal. It just feels like this could have been this much power from the factory. Yeah. So I know viewers are going to have a few questions. I don't know what you can answer yet. Um, in terms of thoughts on availability, when can people expect to like buy this? Well, I hate to lead with bad news because <laughs> we've had so much with uh, manufacturing and getting that kind of stuff figured out. It's really pushed us back further than we thought. At this point, we're hoping for around September. Yep. Um, and not to, to jump off on that note, but uh, the chargers are right here on we our right. Found them. And that looks like that's on our guys. Man, and there's the Cybertruck. We found them. So, and then I guess, I mean, are you officially saying anything about pricing yet? Because that's another question everyone asks. We are aiming for pricing to be really close to the NA and B turbo kits, nice. which depending on how you option it out is around five grand, give or take. Yep. Well, I think it's worth it. Don't you? You know, for this kind of <laughs> amount of smiles per gallon, I'm right there. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining. It's a really quick, um, just vlog style video, but and literally no editing or anything. This is just a raw experience from Grand Junction. I just popped over here today, last second, wasn't even planning on it until Kyle was like, hey, we're doing towing testing over the mountains uh, with the Cybertruck, by the way. So we could look at that really quick. But uh, yeah, that's a turbo car. Oh my gosh. I'm excited. Let's eat some Chick-fil-A and see the Cybertruck. <laughs> oh yeah. There it is. Big uh, Cybertruck guy over here. This sucks. How's your charging? Oh, well, it's doing 50 kilowatt and because this Model Y and I'd have to unhook to park somewhere else. Well, gas is the future. This is the turbo. Gas is the future. Got a trunk. Oh yeah. No front trunk. This must not be electric. No, no, not this time. <laughs> Maybe next time. Sheesh. You have, you have trashed this thing. <laughs> oh. Wow, it's just a cup of... You're right. It's actually it's actually most mostly clean in here. And um, pulling 113 kilowatts. Yep. Dude, this thing would tow me out of so well. Yeah, and I mean, everyone fucking stares at this thing, too. Yeah. Today. Watching you go down the highway, everyone pulls up to you and then slows down to match your speed, takes yeah. a video. <laughs> so kid, I took a selfie with a kid though. Oh my gosh. Nice. <laughs> I was like, yeah. <laughs> uh, that thing's a blast too, but this is cooler. This is what this is cooler. This is what I'm excited for. Jeez. Now you can actually do donuts. Now I could do donuts. Hey, I could do donuts before. In the snow? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Thanks, see ya. <sighs> We're taking reliable transportation. This thing takes like, what? Four minutes to charge? Yeah, yeah, something like that. Three minutes? Maybe. <laughs> yeah.